Um, previously, here's a BOP to explain. We needed eight pump bolts. One, two, here's the vent. Three, four, here's uh, your suction line into the pump. Five, six, seven, eight. By the way, this extra, these are your ports. This is an extra port that does nothing, by the way. This is for like a variable pitch. They just did it in a lot of transmissions uh, through the 70s, even though they quit doing it in like 1969 or something. Now here's a newer Chevy case. As you can see, we've omitted that whole section of the lower porting. We're missing this bolt, which used to be critical when we did the JW housings, or if you do the NERAT housings and uh, you uh, don't want to do any extreme bracing. And here you can see, here's the boss that's just sitting here untapped. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap this boss, because as you can see, here's this whole quadrant of the transmission with no support, and you're going to put that big heavy bell housing on there. But you can tap this and put another bolt there, and then you go seven bolts. This one doesn't do much because there's two there doing your oil ports. This third one ain't going to do a whole lot. This one's going to do a whole bunch. And a lot of these housings, as far as my memory goes, and my memory is just basically sucks, uh, most of them have this boss here. Sometimes these are tapped even without having this. Uh, the Chevy cases were all over the place. So here we go. We're looking at our pump here. You can see we had a six bolt pump. I drilled it from the back side. Here's one where I didn't drill it. And on the opposite side here, I drilled this one out. We're going to stick this one in into the housing here. I got to do this one handed because I'm pre. pre uh, well, I don't have anybody to run the camera. How's that? Get it aligned up here, which can be kind of tricky doing this one handed like so and what you're gonna do is you're gonna look down the holes and center all your bolt holes all six obviously this one down here hasn't been drilled yet you can kinda see it there you wanna center all these we're gonna put a couple of bolts in here to bolt this solid and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that 11 30 seconds bit and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lightly top drill that and what's that what that's gonna do that's gonna give us a center point to drill with a quarter inch drill bit so we can create our 5 16 tap. So that's what we're going to do here right now. Let me see if I can. I don't have my tripod or anything like that. And I'm getting ready to go down to a derby tomorrow and I'm tired as hell. And UPS fucked up my order. There's the El Bombre in the background. For this, we're going to put two pump bolts in it, just opposite sides, kind of eyeball it, center it up. Shit. I'm trying to make this a brief video because I found that if videos go more than five minutes, people get bored. I try not to be boring, but I am. So we got the 5 16 drill bit. And we're going to use the pump that we drilled out 11 30 seconds to center where we're going to center the other one. And you're just going to do it lightly, like so. Close your eyes when you do that. Now this is the tricky part. Quarter inch drill bit and I can't tell if you guys can see it or not because I'm looking in the viewfinder. You can see where I marked it with black tape. And what I'm doing is I'm going through the pump and I've marked off with the black tape on the drill bit where to stop drilling. Now I've created a center, center line with the 11 30 second drill bit so now I'm taking the quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to, uh, it's already going to be on center, and then you're just going to kind of eyeball center it, and you're going to plunge it until you get to that tape on that drill bit. Follow me? See what I'm doing? All right. Here we 
we go. And we're gonna eyeball it. I'm not gonna pay attention to the camera because I don't wanna fuck this up. Stop. If you think you've gone too far, stop and check it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tilt it so the shavings come out. Maybe I can see if I can uh, get the camera down here. No, that ain't what I wanted to do. Try a different pen. And keep in mind guys, I'm ad living here. Let's see here. Come on! This sucks. Alright. So what we're going to do, we're going to blow the shavings out now. Ah shit, I forgot to do that. A nifty way to keep the shit out of your pump. Put a sock on it. Now when I was drilling it before, they were all falling down, but I'm going to blow it with compressed air now, so it's going to fly everywhere. So that's what the, uh, the pump condoms for. Get the shavings out of there. Yeah, that's where I want it. Just double check the depth with my uh, bit there. So I've got two 5 16 taps here. We're gonna just go right in here and we're gonna use that pump to align the tap too. Here we go. Good sharp tap, it'll go right in. Now, if you have a different brands of taps, they'll do different things. And I'm going to show you here in a moment. This is a, uh, a normal tap. You see how it ta tapers? And then this is a bottoming tap. So what I, do, what I always do is use this tap first, and then go in with a bottoming tap. Because I want that bolt to go all the way to the bottom of the hole. Now, some of your taps that you can get around uh, they'll have more flighting further up on the tap, so you don't need a bottoming tap. There's different designs out there, um, but this is the way I do it because it's the most accurate. And what we're going to go in there and we're going to clean out the bottom of that thread hole I just plunged. And sometimes you go in like a turn or two and then back it off a turn or two, clean it out. And you'll know when you hit home because it just comes to a stop right at the bottom of the hole with that bottoming tab. I'm trying to do this quickly. You don't have to do it this quick. Clearing it out again. We got a standard pump bolt. I just wanted to come out here and have some fun with my fucking family. Hit it with the speed handle. And just for shits and giggles, let's hit it with the torque wrench. There's the click. And that's how you give yourself an extra bolt hole. Wrenchmanrepair.com. I'm the bomber. Thank you. God bless you.